Today I look at how you'd animate text onto the screen one character at a time to show a typewriter effect. Hello friends and welcome to the final video for now in my series about the text features in OpenTunes. And as always, if you're new here, my name's Darren T and on this channel I release new OpenTunes tutorials, news videos and animations weekly. So subscribe to not miss them and hit that bell to be notified when I release a new video. And if you're interested in animating with OpenTunes, check out the other videos on my channel. So on to today's. And today's video is inspired by a viewer comment on the Type Tool video where they asked about a typewriter effect. And this got me thinking how you'd approach it in OpenTunes. Well, there's not currently a simple effect or mechanism that I know of in OpenTunes, so I'll be showing a manual but fairly quick way. But if you know of a better way, let me know in the comments below. So I used this effect on my last OpenTunes news video a few weeks ago where I added a date onto the opening. And the way to do it is very simple. And at first you might think that you just create a new drawing and add each letter separately, but this would be so slow to do and it'd be hard to align the letters with each other. So the best way is to write out your sentence first, resize it, add any shadows or on-screen effects and align it on screen. And then you'd remove a letter from the end to the beginning, one drawing at a time and show this backwards. But we'll do it in reverse. So first let's add the words on a vector level. So first what we need to do is to create a new drawing, one for the addition of each new letter. And if you're using a version of OpenTunes before 1.3, we'd do this in the level strip by right clicking and choosing duplicate drawing. Or as you can see here, we can press the D key to create duplicates quickly. And then we'd expose them in the timeline for editing the text by selecting them all and then dragging them onto the timeline. But from version 1.3, there's the ability to duplicate and create new drawings in the timeline or X sheet directly using the same duplicate functionality. And when you first try and do it, you'll be shown this warning telling you you need to make a change in your preferences. So you go to your preferences under file in the X sheet section and then tick the option that says sync level strip drawing number changes with the X sheet. And then just close that. And now we can choose the duplicate drawing option and that will create a new drawing and expose it on the timeline straight away. So duplicate the drawing to have the same number as letters in the sentence, ignoring any spaces as they don't change the drawing. In this case, it's 38. Now we just need to go through and delete the letters, leaving an extra one each time. So on frame number one, in drawing number one, first I'll delete all but the first letter T by using the selection tool at the top left here highlighting all the text apart from T and tapping the delete key. Then I use the right arrow key to move to the next drawing, highlight again, all except the U and tap delete. And I'll just work through the rest of these one drawing at a time. And finally, you just adjust the timing. So for basic typewritten text, I found that two frames per letter, including spaces is about right. But that depends on your circumstances and the look of your film. So first I'll set all the drawings to be held for two frames and then I'll add an extra two for each space. So if we just highlight all the frames, then on the toolbar choose twos. And if you haven't got the X sheet toolbar showing, you just right click on any columns header and choose toggle X sheet toolbar. And it's a handy toolbar to have, especially when you're changing the timing of your frames. And I'll go through each frame using the angle bracket keys to find the spaces between the words and make those last four frames. And I'm using the angle bracket keys because they go from drawing to drawing rather than from frame to frame like the arrow keys do. So let's take a look. Right, so on drawing number eight, it starts the next word. So I need to take drawing number seven and extend that by two more frames. And that's it, so let's see how that looks. Great, so that worked a treat. And I'll be back next week with another video, so why not join me then? And remember, if you've got any questions or comments about this, 
or have any requests for other effects or future tutorials, I'd love to hear them in the comment section below. But that's an easy way to add a typewriter style effect to your subtitles. Why not give it a go and add some drama to your titles? And that's a guarantee. Thank you.